Given the following graph, determine the sine equation. All right, so let's look what we have here. Right away, we can see that our y-axis has been scaled by a factor of four. So if we want to write out our base sine equation, we can right away say we know that there is going to be a coefficient of four out front. Now, let's deal with what's inside the brackets. So looking at our period here, we notice measuring from peak to peak that our period appears to be shrunk by a factor of two because we only get to pi. So if we want to shrink the period by a factor of two, we put a two coefficient out front. Remember, it's inverted from the y-axis. Now, here's the kind of tricky part. Remember that when we're plotting um, a graph given equation, we kind of pull out that coefficient so that we have x and then our phase shift inside the brackets. Well, when we do that, if we want to find the phase shift from this graph, we can see that, okay, we're trying to find the sine equation here. So a sine graph starts from here. So it looks like we've just taken a uh, sine graph and shifted over to the left. So we know we have a plus sign and we can see that that distance right here is going to be pi over four. So what does that mean for our equation? Well, that means that if we have to first pull out this two and then we can write pi over four. Now, the reason this is important is that when we factor that two back in, we actually get pi over two, right? So don't make that mistake uh, and don't first factor in the uh, two because otherwise you'll end up with 2x plus pi over 4, which is wrong. So this is our final answer here because there is no shift in the y direction. Uh, so we're just left with 4 sine 2x plus pi over 2. So that's all for this one. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye now.